Okay, hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining our webinar today. Um, we will be presenting to you how to make every event successful with JotForm and Monday.com. So today's presenters are gonna be myself, Annabelle. I work on the marketing team at JotForm and we'll also be joined by Deepro. Would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Deepro. I'm a customer success manager here at monday.com. I work on the technical success team here and re we really uh, focus on integrations. I'm really excited today to walk you through how JotForm and monday.com can show you a complete event management solution for all the way from uh, getting feedback to managing logistics. Uh, we've got you covered. Perfect. So as Deepro mentioned, today's webinar is going to be talking about a full event management solution and really focusing how you can use JotForm to collect all of your important information like event attendee information, feedback, etc. And then how you can organize all of that and track it and communicate with your teammates in Monday.com. So we are going to shift gears now and go off screen and then we're going to start jumping into the presentation. Perfect, so just to give a brief overview about JotForm, um, JotForm really is the preferred form builder for event management teams for a number of reasons. So firstly, it streamlines workflow and gets rid of manual data entry so that you can automate your workflow and you don't have to worry about like finding information or losing it or dealing with a bunch of like pen and paper because that's never fun. Um, Forms can be used for any type of information collection and you can even gather payments. So that's really great for events that are looking to collect a payment with the, uh, with the event attendee information. And you can do that simultaneously. Um, other really great job form perks are that it's super easy to use. So zero technical skill is required. It's a drag and drop form builder. So you, know, you easily just grab the form elements that you want and put them into the form. Um, there's also advanced design functionality so that you can make professionally designed forms in just minutes. We also have 100 plus integrations, so mentioned the payment gateways, but we also have other integrations too, like Google Sheets, Airtable, Monday.com, the list goes on. And lastly, JotForm also offers tons of different event specific form templates. So if you find yourself kind of in a pinch for time, or you just don't really feel like building your own form, you can simply browse through those and find a template that works for you. So I'm gonna pass the mic over to Deepro so we can talk to you a little bit about monday.com. Thanks so much, Annabelle. Um, so we know at monday.com that running a successful event is really hard. Uh, you've got a lot of different stakeholders that you need to uh, be accountable to and communicate with. Uh, there's a lot of logistics. You need to make sure that your um, your venue is is organized. And there's a lot of things that need to happen as well as communication around those uh, tasks. And so with monday.com, you can really drill into that by communicating in context with all your stakeholders um, instead of having to go through a really long email thread trying to find relevant information all of your communication is right there in the context of the tasks you need to do, the attendees that are coming to your um, to your events. It's all right there in one place. So you don't need to worry about um, losing track of things. On top of that, it is super visual and intuitive. Uh, we know that event managers often collaborate with vendors and we make it really easy for you to share workflows with uh, one-time vendors or contractors or even clients. And because it's so visual and intuitive, you don't need to worry too much about teaching them how to use a new software. Uh, you, they can just go in and um, change some statuses, uh, update their information, and really just ensure that everyone is aligned there as well. Um, finally, it's really, really flexible. What that means is you can adapt it to your workflow. I think a lot of tools nowadays require you to adapt your workflow for the tool. Instead, we know that you know your team best and you know how your team works. And so we allow you to very easily customize the tool to make sure that it fits your needs. Uh, with that flexibility, of course, comes a ton of use cases, um, almost infinite. Uh, you can use monday.com to track attendance and feedback like we're going to show you today on our webinar uh, but you can also use it for budget tracking you can use it for vendor management you can even use it for content content production for your marketing teams awesome thank you for that overview so now that you all know a little bit more about how job form and monday work we're going to show you how they work together and through a demo 
So I'm going to kick this off by going through the drop form version first. So I am going to come back and switch my screen to the drop form back end. One moment, please. So this is the drop form dashboard, um, as many of you have probably seen if you've used drop form before. So we have pre-made a couple of forms for the webinar. We have a registration form and we also have a feedback form. So I'm going to start with the registration form and just kind of walk through what we've included in the form and then how you would link that to your Monday account. So after you click on the form, you just click edit form here on the right hand side and you're brought into the form builder. So the use case that we chose for this webinar is a puppy party event. So um, here we've included form fields like owner name, email, phone number, the puppy name, puppy breed, puppy age, and any questions that owners may have. So if I wanted to add any additional form fields to this, I would just simply click on this plus bar on the left-hand side, and then I can drag and drop elements into the form. So I just drag and drop the address. I could do another text box here. So it's super easy to use. I'm going to delete these though, because they're not linked to our Monday accounts. Um, and then on the right hand side, we have the form designer here. So this is where you can really customize your forms. And we highly recommend taking advantage of this because organizations can include, you know, a personable image in the background, like we've included the super cute dog. Um, they can also do something that's more focused on their brand, like a logo or what have you. Um, we also have some really great pre-made designs and themes too, if you just kind of want to choose one quickly and move forward. Um, and besides that, we have an area at the top here for a logo. So we chose a icon that came with the form, but you can always upload your own company logo too. So it really gives you that, that customizable feel. Um, Perfect. So then if you wanted to come in and integrate your form with monday.com, all you would need to do is click on the settings button here in the middle, come down to integrations at the bottom, and then click on monday.com. So we've already connected this, um, but if you'd like more details on it, we have a really great two minute video on our website that shows you how to link everything but it takes a couple of minutes and you just need your API code and then to map the form fields with the lines in monday.com. Um, another thing I wanna show you too is the email feature we have. So a lot of times event managers really wanna stay um, in the know about people's registrations. They wanna get notified immediately. So if this is you, it's really easy to um, either link your email or other team members' emails here so that you can get those notifications right away. We also have a feature too, it's an autoresponder email, so that each time a form is submitted, the, the, form, uh, the person that submitted the form will also get an email back to them just with the confirmation saying that they, their response has been received. Um, besides that, we also have conditional logic, which is also known as smart form. So this also helps to like further customize a form too, because you can make it so that if somebody chooses a certain answer, then they can either jump questions or they can be redirected to a next question, which is helpful too for just like helping people save time and only answer questions that are really relevant to them. Perfect. So I'm going to come back here and I'm just going to show you how easy it is to actually fill this form out. So we'll press publish. We'll have a link available here. And then I'm going to open this in a new tab. Okay, so then we can come through the form and we will, let's see, Annabelle. So we're showing how to fill out this form right now because once we get into our Monday account, you'll be able to see all of these responses in a really organized fashion. Puppy name, please. Puppy breed, mixed. Puppy age, five months. I wish I had a puppy. Um, <laughs> what? Um, 
Okay, submit. And then this will automatically be sent into your Monday account. And then um, I'm gonna come back and just show you the feedback form too so that we'll be able to, um, again, show that in the monday.com account. So one moment while I switch my screen again. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to my forms, the main drop form dashboard, and just quickly show you the feedback form. So feedback forms are really important for getting, obviously, feedback on events so that you know how to improve them in the future. Um, some tips we have for feedback forms are to really keep them as concise as possible because no one really wants to fill out a feedback form, but if you can um, communicate that the form's only gonna be a couple of questions long, then people are usually, uh, they're more inclined to actually fill it out. So again, here we have our logo at the top. We've customized the background. Um, we've included name or fields like name, email, what did you like about the puppy party? And how can we improve future events? Please share any other thoughts or feedback. And then also the submit button there. Um, and usually for feedback forms too, we don't make all of the form fields required, except for maybe like name or email. And if you wanted to do that, you would just click on the fields, press the gear icon, and then turn the required field on. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna, again, publish this form, and we're just gonna fill it out quickly so that we can show you how it looks in the Monday account. Okay. So we'll do name, email, and these forms are really great too because they make it actually interesting to fill out. When you have like a fun background, it just makes the form more fun. Like it's not a really boring form that a lot of times we encounter online. Okay. Okay, perfect, submit. Okay, so this is just a really high level overview of how to use Dropform. So now I'm gonna pass the mic back over to Deepro so that he can show you how it all looks in the Monday account. Awesome, thank you so much, Annabelle. Um, so what I'm gonna do is walk you through what these look like in monday.com. Uh, let me go ahead and share my screen as well. All right, so you should be seeing puppy event attendees. Um, but yeah, so earlier today, what Annabelle did is she went in and she submitted a, an attendance form uh, that is connected to this monday.com board. Um, as you can see, we've got a ton of different attendees, all of whom filled out this form. And Annabelle's response is right here with her email address, her 123 phone number. Blaze is, of course, as we know, a mixed uh, puppy. And they are five months old. So all of that information immediately shows up right here. It's one unified place for you to track your registrations so you know exactly who to expect and how many people are coming. Um, on top of that, you'll see that these five fields are mapped to um, information in the form, but you can also add additional information for your own inter internal tracking. So for example, right here, I've added a status column um, and I'm basically using this as, a t as uh, to track attendance. So after my, um, after my event or during my event, what I can do is I can quickly just go in and change these statuses. And you can see this is super easy and intuitive. I push a button, it becomes green or red, and I can track exactly who, is, who has attended. Uh, once I fill all of these out, I can then also go in and filter out only the people who didn't attend. So let's say I wanted to send all these people an email. I can go in, I can use the filtering tool to filter this out. And then I have all of their emails so I can send them an email uh, following up saying, hey, how's it going? Would you like to attend our next event instead? Um, on top of that, uh, we also filled out a feedback form and that's showing up right here on this other board. Now each form is connected to a board or a workflow and um, this one's for feedback. So Annabelle right here, also her email. And when I click in to this uh, little speech bubble icon, I can see the feedback that she uh, gave us. So she liked everything about our puppy party and she has no ways to improve future events because of course our puppy party was amazing. Um, let's go ahead and see what Brian said. 
Brian said that it was really fun and he or his puppy liked all of the different types of dogs. Um, and of course, we can always make our puppy parties longer so that we have more time to hang out with the puppies. Uh, so this is a super simple use case that we uh, created for uh, getting feedback and getting attendance records for our puppy party. But as I mentioned before, monday.com is a full solution. Uh, you can use it for a lot of other things as well. And I wanna quickly walk you through one of those examples. Let's say that on top of um, actually organizing the poppy party, we need to create some social media campaigns in order to uh, raise awareness and kind of let people know that this is happening. We can track that in monday.com right here. Uh, so I've opened up this social media board. Um, this is actually built out of a template. So this is all dummy data. Uh, but you can see immediately that you can track a lot of different things on this one board. I've got items clustered into different groups. So I've got this week for all of the posts I'm gonna to post this week, posts for next week, as well as an ideas pool. Um, and I've assigned ownership. So I know, uh, so everyone knows exactly what they need to do, what they're expected to uh, produce this week, next week, and in the future weeks as well. I also have a status column right here. This is the same kind of data as that attendance column that I had earlier. And we can use this to um, not only set up a common language amongst your team, but also align them in terms of what the status of something is. So let's say this is scheduled and I finally published it. I can just move this to published and this tick mark will be marked as done. Let's say this one was um, due on the 17th. So it's overdue right now. And I can see that by rolling over this red exclamation mark. Let's say I go published. Now it's going to mark as green, but it's also going to tell me that it was done five days after the deadline. So it was done late. Um, I've also included links. Um, these are links to those posts, as well as hashtags to map what campaign they're a part of. So this is just a really simple example of how you can use monday.com to manage social media for your puppy parties in addition to um, attendees and feedback. And everything that I said before applies here. It's super visual. When someone opens up monday.com and looks at this board, um, it's really easy to see what everything means. We've got dates, we've got green check marks for when something is done. I feel like that's a pretty universal language. And we've got some hashtags as well, and we've got people's faces so that they know who is um, involved. Um, I also mentioned communication is super key here. You can communicate in context. And just like on that feedback form, we saw the little uh, blue speech bubble. We also have speech bubbles right here. And when you click on this, you can communicate with your team um, by writing updates. Um, so let's say uh, this was published and I want to know why it was late. What I can do is I can be like, hey, Janet, why was this late? And I can super easily just send her a message. I can even at mention her to trigger a notification. So I write at, put in at good Janet, because of course we know this is good Janet as opposed to bad Janet. Um, why was this late? I can add a GIF if I wanted to. I could add some files. This is kind of an aggressive GIF, but it'll do. We hit update and immediately Janet is gonna get notifications. She's gonna get a notification in her bell icon right here. She's also gonna get one in her email and on her phone if she has our mobile app. So it's really, really easy to communicate with your team in monday.com, keep track of everything and do it all in a really visual and unassuming way. You don't need a degree in project management to use this tool. All you need is to understand how your team works and to want to track your team. Annabelle, uh, back to you. I'm gonna go ahead and um, stop sharing. Perfect, yeah, thank you so much for that overview. It was super helpful and awesome that you can do so many things in a Monday account. Yeah, yeah, it's super cool. <laughs> Great, so we're gonna jump into the Q&A. Okay, perfect, <laughs> back on again. Okay, questions and answers. So we have a question here from Morgan. Her question is, I'm not very experienced with building forms. Are there templates available for event planners? If so, can you please show me how to access them? Morgan, that's a great question. Um, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, JotForm has thousands of different templates to choose from. And all you have to do is let me share my screen and show you. Perfect. So if you come to JotForms, jotform.com slash form dash templates, you can search for 
virtually any type of form template that you're looking for. So I just did a quick search for events. And as you can see, there's 107 search results for that. So that's anything from a registration form to event booking forms, to surveys, to RSVPs, all kinds of different stuff. And there's also specific forms too, like wedding events or seminars or yeah, church events. So there's all kinds of different different types of templates to choose from. I, I noticed that Richitha also has a question. Um, okay, so Richitha says, I'm a JotForm user and want to get set up with monday.com for managing my events. How do I do that? You know, that's a great question. We've been showing you how to use JotForm and monday.com, um, but I'm sure you hopped on because you're a JotForm user and I'm sure a lot of other folks on this webinar are in the same boat. It's really, really easy to sign up for a monday.com account. All you need to do is go to monday.com. There is a, um, there is a field there for you to enter your work email. You will get an activation link in your email address. All you need to do is go in, um, activate your account, and you'll be able to, to use the tool. Uh, we have a ton of templates that you can use to manage your um, workflows. So I just showed you a couple today, um, but there are lots and lots and lots. And maybe later um, we might be able to go through some of those as well. Um, but yeah, just go to Monday com sign up uh, it's super straightforward and we we want to see you um, get started and, and use the tool perfect great we also have a question from Jordan he says it's important that we know immediately when a form is submitted how can we get notifications so Jordan this is super easy we did show this in the demo but I'll just show you again quickly okay so when you're in your form that you're creating all you have to do is come to the settings section, click on emails, and then you can edit this first email here with either yours or teammates, and then you can get those notifications right away. And if you download the JotForm mobile forms app, you can also enable push notifications and get those directly sent to your phone. So I see that Dan has a question. Ooh, this is a question about a template, awesome. Um, so Dan asks, can you show me a template for vendor management? Dan, we definitely can. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and share my screen, and I'm going to walk you through um, our vendor management template. All right, so you should see um, social media for Puppy Party. Great. So this is monday.com, as you saw. Um, and what I just showed you earlier in the demo were a couple of different boards. Now, a board is... Um, basically the bread and butter of a workflow in monday.com. You can use one for each event. You can use one to see a high level view of all of your events, and you can use one for managing your vendors. Uh, to create a new board, all you need to do is hit the plus at the top right, and I'm gonna write um, puppy party vendors. Smiley face, I'm gonna hit create board, and I'm gonna create this as a main board. Now, a main board is visible to everyone in your account. You can also create private boards um, for only yourself for select team members, as well as shareable boards for working with folks outside your account, such as contractors. Uh, for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna just create a main board and hit create. And when I hit create, I'm gonna see our template list. So right here, we have a ton of different templates for all of those use cases that I mentioned. Um, you can see that they are organized in folders. So we have some for marketing, we have some for project management, and so on. Um, in office operations, we have one for vendor management called vendors list. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And I'm gonna move this into my puppy party folder. And right there, now we've got the vendor list. Um, the template gives you um, a basic structure for you to um, manage your vendors and uh, make sure that you know uh, who you've been working with in the past and who your contacts are. Um, but it is structured pretty generically. Right now I've got IT and groceries. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change these to uh, more event um, management themed uh, vendors. So let's do venues that we've worked with before, as well as caterers. So that template came with um, groceries and IT, and I just clicked on each of these groups and I changed them. This gives me a little bit more visual organization so I don't have everything in one big block. Um, I'm also gonna go ahead and just quickly archive all of these, kind of start from scratch. And I'm gonna add a couple of vendors right here. Um, I'm gonna add Melrose Ballroom, 
in NYC. I'm going to add the top of the Giza pyramid because, of course, who wouldn't want to have an event over there? And for caterers, I'm going to put in Dean and DeLuca. And Annabelle, what's your favorite restaurant in San Francisco? Oh, foreign cinema. Foreign cinema. Awesome. So I've quickly added four vendors to my vendor list. Um, as you can see, that was super easy. And what I can do is I can then assign people. Um, so let's say Margot worked with Melrose Ballroom and the Giza Pyramid. Um, I worked with Dean and DeLuca and Annabelle worked with Foreign Cinema. Um, I can assign everyone and I can also add um, the status for um, whether we worked with them a lot or just once. Um, I can add contact names. I can rate their service. So this is a rating column and we can basically say like, okay, five stars, four stars, once two stars. And of course, foreign cinema is five stars. I can add a phone number. So let's go um, just add a random phone number as well as add a location, Melrose Ballroom. That is a real place, um, foreign cinema. There we go. And so I can very easily just populate this board with all of my vendors. And then when other folks uh, want to uh, look for a venue and a venue that we've used before, one that we trust, they can just, just go to this board and they can track all of this. Um, you could also create a vendor management board similar to this for just one event. So if you're working with like three or four different caterers for a very complicated event or a big wedding, uh, you could do all of that um, on one board as well. Again, super flexible. You can set this up in whatever way makes sense for your team. Um, Perfect. But yeah, I hope that was helpful, Dan. I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing. Nice. That was that was super cool. Um, awesome. So we have one question left for JotForm. This is from Hannah. She asks, I've been having trouble getting feedback from event attendees. Do you have tips on how to get them to fill out my forms? That's a really great question, Hannah. Um, it can be difficult to get people to fill out the forms just because it's the nature of people not wanting to fill out forms. But a couple of good rules of thumb are to keep the forms as concise as possible and to really take advantage of engaging features like JotForm has to offer, such as the emoji sliders, five-star ratings, colorful backgrounds with personable images, and to use conditional logic to make sure the forms are as personable as possible. I think keeping that in mind, just keeping forms personable and custom is really going to be the best way to get the most people to fill out your forms. Very cool. Thanks so much for that, Annabelle. Um, do we have time for one more question for Monday.com? Yes. Okay, great. Um, so Oron has another question also about templates, uh, which I like because I get to show um, all the various use cases. Um, Oron is asking, um, can I track all of my events in monday.com? Um, Oron, you definitely can. I feel like from the way that that question is worded, you mean um, that you want to be able to, to track, let's say, 12 different events in, in one quarter. Uh, it's kind of like a high level view of all the events and you can definitely do that. Um, I'm going to show you one template that I particularly like for this. We're not going to go into so much detail like we did with the vendor list, but I'm just going to show you that it is possible. Let me go ahead and share my screen one more time. And you should see my vendor list again. All right. So um, I'm going to go ahead and create a board in this folder. And we've got our trusty template list right here. Um, in our project management group, we have. Um, one for um, process management. Um, this is kind of a generic term for uh, this template. Um, it basically lets you keep track of all of, uh, kind of like a high level overview of multiple projects, multiple events, um, and you can see what phase they're in, whether in ideation, they're in execution, they're in follow-up. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this and quickly customize it for the events um, use case. I'm just gonna go ahead and change this to event high level and the structure is very similar um i've got an owner right here I've got a priority um have got three different phases i'm going to change the names of these columns just by clicking on these and make these like uh ideation planning execution and so we've we've kind of set up these three phases. And of course, if your phases are different or you want to add a couple more, you can always just 
add another column right next to here. Um, we've also got our project right here um, and a timeline and the progress. So this is a really good template for high level projects. So let's say you have a ton of events uh, and you want to track all of them in one place um, so that you know exactly what needs to be done, especially for reporting. Um, you can use this template for that. Um, we also have this timeline section right here, which I think is really cool because when you click on it, you see all of your projects in a Gantt chart-like way. So if I go to years, um, weeks, don't know where my other projects have gone. This is a template. Ah, there, there we go. They're in 2018. But you can see all of these projects right here. So um, I hope this is helpful. Um, do go ahead and check out this template. It's called uh, uh, Process Management. And you can use this template as well as any other template um, in order to track your events. I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing. Um, I hope that was helpful, Oran. Um, thank you so much for your question. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for that. And um, I'm going to share my screen once more so we can close and then talk about a special discount that Monday is offering. All right. That sounds awesome. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Um, because you joined us for this very special JotForm and Monday.com webinar, um, we wanted to reward you by giving you 10% off with a promo code. Um, so monday.com does come with a bunch of very flexible subscriptions. And you can use this promo code JOTFORM to get 10% off um, any, of your, any of your subscriptions on your uh, first year. So do go ahead and sign up. Uh, use the promo code JOTFORM. Um, and I will see you on monday.com. Perfect. Thank you so much, Deepro, for co-hosting this webinar with us. Thank you, everybody, for joining. We hope you found it useful. And please feel free to reach out to either of our support teams if you have any questions. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Bye.